Hello friends. In Zenobia's talk show today, we have the most amazing gentleman, Mr. Sandeep Kocher. Welcome, Mr. Kocher. Thank you so much, Jimmy. And you will be surprised to know that his name is in the Limca Book of World Records as having the longest show possible. We'll hear wonderful things about him learning and traveling in Dubai and what are the other places, sir? Yeah, thank you so much for having me. And um, yes, uh, Dubai, Hong Kong, Bangkok, Singapore, US and Canada, I'm a regular traveler. And there's his traveler for what? For astrology. He's one of the leading astrologers we have no, known for, who's not a who's not uh, dressed up just like a normal panditji. His knowledge is brilliant. Study of astrology, scientific reasons. Tell us, how did astrology come into your life? See, I think uh, there's always a reason behind everything. You know, now if I look back at my horoscope, then I can see yeah, this horoscope belongs to an astrologer. But before learning astrology, uh, my bent of mind was more like a philosopher. You know, I was trying to look for answers. And uh, I must tell you one un unprofessional thing. I was a cricketer. Oh. And I played the Rahul David for two years. Oh, and amazing. I played under 16, under 19, UP State amazing. and Karnataka 22 State. And then amazing. you do uh, some circumstances. Actually, my father passed away. So it was completely a U-turn in my life. And then I started for looking for answers, you know, why it is happening in my life and, and you know. And astrology gave you the answer. Exactly. So after knowing this science, which I call it a divine science, it helps you to understand who you are, what is your purpose, your strength, your weakness, your potential, and how to utilize in the right way. So I think it has helped me to evolve. And how much of weight would you put on astrology? How much change can happen in a life by someone reading a horoscope? See, it is a beautiful science. As I've said, uh, it is a divine science and I always believe destiny is fixed. No one can change. But a change is changed when you change. So the astrologer who is a stranger to you, if he can help you to understand about your weaknesses, strength, because everybody has some weaknesses in life and uh, the problem is with human psychology is everybody feels he is right or she is right. So there, if somebody who is a stranger who can make you understand and realize about your strength or your time because time is very important what happens is sometimes we take wrong decision at the wrong time and taking right decision at the right time is what we call luck and it's always help you to do, uh, do just that just take the right decision at the right time exactly that and is for unmarried daughters if we had on the youtube millions of people who wanted to get their daughters or sisters married mm -hmm. what tip would you give for that what would be the best possible thing you could do yeah this is a very important question because uh, everybody is concerned about that and things have changed things have evolved actually earlier you know 21 22 was the normal age to get married for girls especially now even girls have evolved they, they want to become independent and because of their good education they want to do something good for their career and because of that things are getting late now 28 and 30 has become a normal age but parents are still the same so they believe you know that they, it is a, a late time for them and not only that you know good boys they look for good boys and good boys are all married now so yes. according to me, late marriage is always better than bad marriage, that is one. And astrologically speaking, any negative influence of planet like Mars, people are afraid of Manglik. Mars can break any relationship as good as marriage even or even a marriage. But if it is after 28, then the influence is less. So I think if it is, if you are around 28 or 30, so don't worry about that. I think now whatever, you know, wherever you will find your person, it will be for, for good. So that's the right thing. And since you also do Vastu, any tip for marriage? For daughters. See, yeah, I always believe uh, like uh, Jupiter is very strong. Jupiter is a planet of prosperity, spirituality. So if the person is spiritual and the person who, who does his or her prayers every day, I think the blessings will always be there. That's the reason most of the people, you know, they, they worship Shiva to get married because Shiva is Adi Guru and Guru is a planet of uh, uh, this uh, uh, significant for marriage and yellow sapphire. So girls who are unmarried, they, they normally Wonderful. wear yellow sapphire to, uh, to get married. But I think the best is to check your horoscope, individual horoscope because your Jupiter has to be checked where it is placed and which house is ruled. So it, it is very important. And if they wanted to contact you, how would they contact you? Uh, I have got a website. It's called sandeepkocher.com. You can Google me and find my um, website over there. And the number? Um, I won't be giving my personal number, yeah, but uh, there's a number which uh, which is there on the website. It's called double nine seven one double zero double eight double nine. Okay, wonderful. And any other general tips you have? The whole purpose of this mm -hmm. is to get people to be interested in making a change in their lives. Correct. So, any other general tips? If you can give us two or three tips, generally in us, how astrologically everybody would benefit. One maybe tip on work, or maybe another Surely, tip see, on uh, uh, one health. Thing 
Yeah, I can say one thing, uh, like it's been 16 years I'm doing astrology. Wonderful. And one thing uh, which I have seen with everyone, whoever, you know, at, at, uh, wherever. Uh, if time is not good, the person try to change his, his time, his job or his place. So whenever there is some change coming in your way, so instead of taking a decision, better to check your horoscope. Because if it is a good time, it is happening for good. And what if it is a bad time, then you might be taking a wrong decision. So any change in environment, you should definitely concern an astrologer. I think, and uh, one tip for health? Health is, I think, health is all in the mind. If you are happy, because according to me, you know, the best thing is to feel the happiness. And that can be only done through your prayers and through your meditation. And I am a poet too. I didn't tell you that. So and please end <laughs> with the poetry, sir. Ki, um, uh, one of my favorite is, you know, Khush Naseeb hain wo log jo khush raha karte hain. You know, happy go lucky. Khush Naseeb hain wo log jo khush raha karte hain aur aise sitare kis kaam ke jo raat bhar jaga karte hain. So have faith in you and in God and keep smiling. God bless. God bless you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank sir. you for having me. God bless. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed Sandeep Coach's tip on the sapphire for unmarried daughters. For more tips, please go on to his website and on to his blog, sandeepcoacher.co.in. Thank you. And anything else you'd like to share? Just enjoy your life. I think this is only one life. Instead of complaining and uh, you know worrying about your future, just go with the flow. That is the right idea. Thank you so much, God bless.